Linda McAvan, Labour MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber. Two beaches in North Yorkshire failing in this latest European Environment Agency bathing water quality report. First of all, what's your reaction? Well, we've known for a few years that these two particular beaches um, have got problems. So it doesn't come as a surprise, particularly after the wet summer we had last year. And we're getting a lot of rain again. And the problem is there's a lot of animal waste and f things off fertilised being washed into the sea. And this is causing problems on these beaches. The other beaches in the region have got better. Quality's gone up everywhere. So we're judging against higher quality. But unfortunately, these two beaches have failed. You say this is something that has been something of an ongoing issue. So is there anything underway to, to tackle it? What do you think needs to be done? Well, I spoke to the environment agencies today to find out what is the problem and what can we do to resolve the problem. They're saying at the moment they haven't identified the exact source of pollution and they're going to work with local communities and, and do more tests over the coming year because obviously these are very beautiful beaches, I, I know them well, and um, people want to be able to swim when the weather finally, finally gets warm. So the environment agency is aware of the issue and we'll be looking at it with the local council. You say they're very beautiful spots. So how important is it from a, a tourism point of view that actually these beaches can be brought up to the European standard? But it's very important because people don't want to swim in the sea if it's got bacteria in it. We have had huge improvements in standards over recent years. But, um, I mean, you can get stomach bugs and things if you don't swim in clean water. And that's why we have the system of flags and everything so people know where they're swimming. So, yes, we need to find the source, resolve the problem and get these beaches cleaned up. And if we have some nicer weather, that would also help. And to what extent do you think people do actually take these kinds of things into account when they're choosing which beach to go to, whether to go to one in North Yorkshire or somewhere else? Well, if you go on a beach, you normally find they're signed on the beach. It tells you on the beach itself what this water standards are. I think people do pay attention because they know about water quality. And obviously, particularly when children are involved, playing in water, you want to make sure the beach is clean. And so, just finally, you say that the, 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 the sort of source of this is being looked at. Whose responsibility is it to make sure that these beaches are cleaned up and, and make the grade? Who needs to actually get that sorted out? Well, the local authority needs to work with the environment agency. And then they need to work with companies who operate near the coast, who put, put things into the water, farmers, about animal waste going into water. So there needs to be a sort of an, an audit of the local area to identify the problem. And hopefully, from, maybe there's a, a simple solution to some of the problems. But the environment agency have assured me that they are looking at it and they will be taking action this year.